Hello my little scholars. Welcome to our English class. I hope you are studying well. My name is Rashmi and today we will learn about pronouns. But before we proceed with pronouns, I hope you haven't forgotten what are nouns. Yes? Need not to worry. We will revise that first and then we will proceed with pronouns. So everything in this word has a name. All the names or the naming words are nouns like Neha, Delhi, Chair, Table, Vidyashri International School. Then you must have learnt about different types of nouns like common noun, something which does not have a proper name is a common noun like girl, chair, table, school, college. Then we have proper noun. What do you mean by proper noun? Something which has a special name or a proper name is called a proper noun. For example, Vidyashri International School, Rohatak, Riya, Rashmi, all these are examples of proper noun. Then we have collective nouns. What do you mean by collective noun? A group of noun is called a collective noun. For example, a group of flowers is called a bouquet. A group of students is called a class. So bouquet and class are examples of collective nouns. Then we have abstract nouns. What are abstract nouns? An idea or a feeling. Something which you can feel but you cannot touch is an abstract noun. For example, happiness, bravery, all these are examples of abstract noun. I hope you are clear with nouns now because it is very important to know nouns in order to proceed to pronouns. Alright. So our today's topic is all about pronouns. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. Replaces means takes place of a noun. For example, consider these sentences. Rhea works with Rahul. Rhea likes working with Rahul. Riya and Rahul do many projects together. Of course that sounds really repetitive. Because we keep on saying Riya, Rahul. So can you tell me how can you improve these sentences? You can say he likes working with her. They do many projects together. That sounds much more natural. Because we are using pronouns he, her, they in place of the nouns. There are different types of pronouns that can replace nouns. Like personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, reflexive pronouns, interrogative pronouns, indefinite pronouns. Now if these names sound scary, don't worry. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to understand and we will be able to use them correctly. If we go in detail, we can categorize pronouns into 10 kinds. Yes, there are 10 kinds of pronouns. The first category is personal pronouns. At number 2, we have interrogative pronouns. Then we have demonstrative pronouns. At number 4, we have possessive pronouns. Number 5, we have indefinite pronouns. At number six, reflexive pronouns. At number seven, relative pronouns. Number eight, we have distributive pronouns. At number nine, reciprocal pronouns. And the last type of pronoun is emphatic pronouns. Students, I want all of you to make this chart in your English grammar notebooks. This will serve as a quick revision note whenever you need to revise this topic again. 
Let's discuss these pronouns one by one now. The first type of pronoun is personal pronoun. What do you mean by personal pronoun? A pronoun which stands for a person or a thing is called a personal pronoun. जो pronoun किसे इंसान या किसे चीज के लिए use होता है उसे हम कहते हैं personal pronoun. Personal pronouns are of three types. The first person, the second person and the third person. Now we shall discuss what is a first person pronoun. The pronouns which refer to the person or persons speaking are of the first person. And the first person pronouns are I, V, My, R, Me, Us. जो pronouns हम मेरे या हमारे लिए use करते हैं, उन्हें हम कहते हैं first person pronoun. For example, she gave me a book. So here, me is a personal pronoun. Then comes the second person pronouns. Now what are second person pronouns? The pronouns which refer to the person or persons spoken to are of second person. Jin se hum baat kar rahe hai, unko address karne ke liye jo pronoun use hoti hai, wo second person pronoun hoti hai. And these include you, your, yours. And the last category of personal pronoun is the third person pronoun. The pronouns which refer to the persons or things spoken of jinke bare mein baat ki jati hai are of the third person pronoun. For example, he, she, it, him, his, her, its, they, them, their. These all are third person pronoun. So in conclusion, जब हम हमारे बारे में बात करेंगे, that is called first person pronoun. जब हम किसी और से बात करते हैं, उसको address करने के लिए we use second person pronoun. और जब हम किसी और के बारे में बात करते हैं, उस किसी और person को address करने के लिए या किसी और चीज को address करने के लिए we use a third person pronoun. The second category of pronoun is interrogative pronoun. A pronoun that is used to ask a question is called an interrogative pronoun. For example, who, whose, whom and what. The third category of pronouns is demonstrative pronouns. The pronouns which refer to things near and at a distance are called demonstrative pronouns. वो pronouns जिने हम इशारा करने के लिए यूज करते हैं, they are called demonstrative pronouns. These include this, these, that, those. This and these are used for things which are near. And that and those express distance. At the same time, this and that are used for singular object. एक object की तरफ इशारा करने के लिए अगर हमें कोई demonstrative pronoun use करना है, then we will use this and that. These and those are used for plural objects. Now we shall consider some examples to understand. This is my car. These are his books. This is a frog for Suman. That is the house where I live. The fourth kind of pronoun is possessive pronouns. The pronouns which show possession. Possession means belongingness, relationship. Kisi cheez par kisi ka adhikar hoona. Koi cheez kis ko belong karti hai? We get to know from possessive pronouns. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल माइन मेरा yours, तुम्हारा his, किसी मेल का hers, किसी फीमेल का ours, हमारा theirs, उनका For example, this toy is mine. ये मेरा toy है So mine here is possessive pronoun. These books are theirs. ये books उनकी है So theirs is a possessive pronoun. The fifth category is indefinite pronouns. As the name suggests, Indefinite means something which is not definite or not known. जिसका हमें पता ना हो Students, sometimes we have to use pronouns for people or things whose number is not known or that cannot be determined. And these are called indefinite pronouns. For example, one, none, all, someone, anyone, everyone, no one. few many something nothing somebody everybody etc consider these examples many of these apples are rotten do you know how many the number is not known to you so here many is an indefinite pronoun nobody was there to rescue the child nobody is also an indefinite pronoun then we have reflexive pronouns reflexive pronouns are used when the action done by the subject turns back or reflects on the subject jisne bhi koi action kiya usi insaan ya usi cheez ki taraf wapas ishara karne ke liye we use reflexive pronouns and how are reflexive pronouns formed they are formed by adding self to my your him her and it in case of plural we will add selves to our your and them consider these examples i hurt myself while playing maine khud mujhe hi hurt kar diya i made this project myself maine khud ye project banaya myself here is a reflexive pronoun lalit has hurt himself lalit ne khud ko hi hurt kar diya so himself also is an example of reflexive pronoun the next category of pronouns is relative pronouns students the pronoun who whose whom which and that are called relative pronouns when they are used to join sentences consider these examples to understand better this is the boy who broke your slate this is the gentleman whose car was stolen so basically a relative pronoun acts as a connector between two sentences which shows the relationship of one sentence with the other so here the words who and whose are acting as relative pronouns the eighth type of pronoun is distributive pronoun the pronouns which refer to the persons or things taken one at a time are called distributive pronouns jo ek time par ek hi insaan ya ek hi cheez ko indicate karte hain those are called distributive pronouns they include each either neither everyone everybody etc for example each of the boys got a prize in boys me se har ek boy ko prize mila either of you can go tum me se koi ek hi ja sakta hai so in these examples each and either are distributive pronouns the ninth type of pronoun is reciprocal pronoun reciprocate means to revert to respond students when there are two or more than two people involved in an activity or a conversation the pronouns which show how they respond or do the same are called reciprocal pronouns 
there are only two types of reciprocal pronouns each other and one another consider these examples john and mary love each other each other is showing their response next example is the 10 prisoners were all blaming one another here one another is again showing a reciprocation something done in return so these are examples of reciprocal pronouns and the last kind of pronoun is emphatic pronoun emphatic means emphasis focus jis par zor diya gaya ho so when we have to stress upon the action done by the subject we use emphatic pronoun for example i myself saw him do it maine khud use dekha aisa karte hue so here the focus is on myself another example they themselves admitted their guilt unhone khud apni galti admit ki again the stress is upon themselves so myself themselves here are examples of emphatic pronoun so my little scholars this was all about today's video i hope after watching this video you will be more confident in solving grammar exercises based on pronouns until we meet again keep studying well stay safe and good luck